So anyway, I want to hear what you have to say about Barack Obama in this situation. And before we take calls, I know that we're going to have people that are going to attempt to agitate the broadcast. I know that we're going to have people that are going to prank call and are going to attempt to be troll terrorists as uh, it pertains to uh, calling up here with their opinions. So let's just go ahead and keep in mind that we're going to have these kinds of troll terrorists, and we can't let them win. So let's go ahead and take some calls. Let's see what people have to say about Obama here, all right? 336, what do you think about Obama? Yeah, you just play. I mean, uh, why call? Why call up then, you stupid Helen Keller deaf mute? 410, what do you think about Obama? Yeah, another Helen Keller deaf mute, for Christ's sake. I mean, what is this? What is this crap? Am I being broadcasted at deaf schools across the country? I mean, what the hell's going on here? 502, what's up? I like how you threaten that you're going to leave and get you done. You're a pussy, dude. You keep saying, I'm going to quit the broadcast and get you done. And by the way, stop talking. You're the guest. The engineer's the host. Put him on. Now, shut up, all right? Look, let's not start that crap, all right? Let's not start that crap. First and foremost, I'm the talent, all right? I'm the talent, not the engineer. The engineer is called the engineer for the reason, because he's supposed to be engineering crap. I'm the talent. So let's not start this crap, because I don't, I don't want to... I'll end this broadcast faster than you can go... And if you think I'm joking, you you just try me, boy. You just goddamn try me. 502, what do you think about Obama? Here we go. I mean, what, what is this crap? I mean, what, what what is this? Am I American Idol now? I mean, are people getting signed record deals that I'm not knowing about because of these goddamn stupid little singing cameos they're doing on my broadcast here? 612, what's up? What do you think about Obama? Man, you're just playing with your pecker shaft, for Christ's sake. I mean, you hear these idiots, they're fapping, or they're, they're shoving large pieces of furniture up their anal passage. I mean, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Look, if you're going to call up, all right, if you're going to call up, say something, all right? They're going to call up, say something. 817. Ah, here's my finger. Oh, God. Shut up. Shut up. Is there anybody that want to, wants to talk seriously about Obama here? I mean, this is not a joke. I mean, this man is trying to make himself out to be something that he's not. I mean, he's trying to make himself out to be like, hey, there's a bad boogeyman out there in the Wall Street industry, in the banking industry. If they were that bad, why'd you bail him out there, Barack? All right? Why, why'd, you, why'd you do it? All right? Jesus Christ. 269, what do you think about Obama? Hey, this is the Fruitaceous Fruit Bowl, fruit bowl and I'm going to help you lose your anal virginity. I mean, usually a flirtatious Fruit Bowl wouldn't be stumbling over their own tongue uh, trying to get that across their damn suck hole, don't you think? Sorry, but your voice is just so intoxicating, it's making me stumble. Oh, my God. And, and you're happy about it. You're happy to be about to, to be some flamboyous fruit bowl. You're happy about this. Fruit bowl and proud. Fruit bowl and oh, proud. So, so you're obviously a catcher as it relates to the, uh, you know, top and bottom situation, right? Well, I go both ways. It it really depends. What do you mean you it go both ways? It depends on how big the penis is. <laughs> what are you talking about you go both ways? Well, it depends on how big the penis is. Like, if it's over, like, six or seven inches, then... Yeah, I'll, I'll take it up the butt, but if it's a bit smaller than that, then I'll, I'll just do the pitching, if you will. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, you sick son of a... Get this fruit! Get this fruit! Get out of here! You idiots are turning this into Fruit Bowl Wednesday, and I'm not going to let you do it for Christ's sake. I will end the broadcast before you idiots sit here and try to turn this into Fruit Bowl Wednesday. We're not going to let you... I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. We're supposed to be talking about Obama here. Once again, he's about to take a 17-day Christmas vacation, and I want to hear what you idiots have to say about it. 817, what's up? You still have a my stranger. 
Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. What's up with these sphincter fetishes, for Christ's sake? 702, what's up? What do you think about Obama? At least he has a family. What? I said at least he has a family. At least he is doing something other than trolling everyone on here because we all know you're a fake. What are you talking about? I'm a fake. Why don't you explain? Why don't you elaborate there? Because me? you're not the real host. The engineer is. That's why. Ah, uh, shut up, you stupid moron. All right? Enough of this goddamn... You see what you started, engineer? God damn it. You've ruined my show. You've ruined my god... That's all I heard. That's all I heard. Well, sorry, I'm going to give you a 
you're shoving up your arse? That's all I heard. Jesus Christ. 847, you're on the horn. What do you think about Obama? Another deaf mute for Christ. Is this is, is this the game we're playing today, yeah? Is this the game we're playing? I let's call up and not say anything. <laughs> is that the game we're playing today, for Christ's sake? Jesus Christ. Eight one eight. What do you think about Obama? Engineer Ghost is your puppet. Near, 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 near. He does funny things with you. He reaches at trolls for you. He's your puppet. I mean, you see, you know, I get really confused when I hear voices like that. I mean, is it a woman? Is it a man? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it a eunuch? You know? Yeah, these eunuchs are starting to become more prevalent. For you folks that are unfamiliar with what eunuchs are, they're actually born without a penis or a vagina. They just got some hole uh, that I, I'm assuming just, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't care. But there's a lot of them walking around out here, all right? Anyway, um, I know people are probably grossed out about that. I'm sorry, but, hey, people are asking, what the hell's a eunuch? You always talk about eunuchs. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, I'm sitting over here trying to have a decent conversation with folk, and once again, you know, just complete and utter disregard for the respect for me and my broadcast, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, we're already in the second hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, all right? And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me. Before we do anything, I'd like for everybody to please retweet the broadcast, all right? Go to the social networks. Go to the forums. Go to the blogs. And spread around like wildfire. And let everybody know that True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house, all right? We got all kinds of little buttons underneath the player, all right? Google+, Plus, uh, Facebook, like, uh, tweet this, uh, share this. Use and abuse those freaking buttons, baby, all right? It's just a freaking click, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I, I don't even, I hate to even ask at this part of the broadcast. But, Engineer, do we have any damn Twitter shout-outs to be had out here? Well, according to the Engineer, we do have a couple of Twitter shout-outs to be had out here. And, of course, uh, lock down that damn chat room, Engineer. Lock down that damn chat room, for Christ's sake. Anyway, if you want to uh, tweet at the broadcast, all you've got to do is retweet the first tweet on my Twitter account, and, of course, the Twitter account is about to pop up on your screen right now. There it is, Ghost Politics, all one word, no underscores, baby, all right? Retweet the first tweet on the Twitter account, and by God, I will give you a shout-out right here, right now on the broadcast. So let's just go ahead and get to it right now, all right? We've got uh, Jim9349. What's going on, Jim? Huh? Uh, we've got, uh, Voice Radar, okay, we've got Epic Incest, that's disgusting, The Life House in the place, uh, The Penn State Kid, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, you idiots, there's nothing funny about that, assholes, nothing, anyway, we got Engineer Politics, Shaw Rep, enough with the engineer, man! Enough with that asshole, all right? Look what you started, man. Look what you started. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we've got uh, uh, Mock Mood for Prez. Yeah, real funny asshole. Uh, we got something called Lick My Pecker Shaft. Jesus Christ. I mean, you all actually waste time, effort, energy. You all actually open up different email accounts and, and all this other nonsense to make this. It's just horrible. Inspector Ghost. Yeah, real funny. Autistics for Ghost. Jesus Christ. Scram Page. Mowers. Uh, Sugar Quitter Cane. Uh, shove it up your ass. Let me 
Let me tell you something. Leave Herman Cain alone. You all leave Herman Cain alone, for Christ's sake. This man got destroyed in this liberal, disgusting media, for Christ's sake. This is a man that got backstabbed by the GOP because he had a meteoric rise in popularity. You all leave Herman Cain alone! That's my man, Herman Sugar Cain, and you leave him alone. Jerk dicks. Anyway, we got Blue Slime Girl in the house. Um, who else we got? We got, we got I Hope I Die. Oh, shit. Shove it up your ass, all right? Uh, we've got green slime girl, for Christ's sake. What's up with all these slime girls, huh? What's up with all these slime girls out here? What do y'all work for? You can't do that on television, the old Nickelodeon episodes, huh? I don't know. And then the slime comes down on you, for Christ's sake? Jesus Christ. Uh, who else do we got? We've got red slime girl. we got Han Hanzo. Uh, we got Ghost on Herman. Yeah, fuck you, all right? Excuse my friends. I'm sorry for cursing, folks, but, gee, these people are pissing me off. I'm sorry, all right? Engineer is Jesus. All right, that's it. Uh, that, no more. Enough, engineer. Take it off. Enough. Enough. I've had about enough of this crap, all right? Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the GOP uh, nominees uh, race for president or the presidential nominee for the GOP. What do you got to say about it, 786? I'm going to fuck your Jew mouth. And that's all you got. Can we get a major fail for that fruit bowl, please? Can we get a major fail for a major fail for an engineer, please? God damn it. Put it on. <laughs> Hey, 786, can I give your number out? Uh, I don't really care. You don't care? Okay, 786-597-2221. All right. He didn't care. 832, what's up? Hey, Joe, you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. What's going on? Hey, I just wanted to ask, when are you going to have Engineer host the show again? I like him better. He's not racist. Wait a minute. Well, well, why are you, wait a minute. Why do you want the Engineer to host the show? Well, because he's not racist. And first of all, are you a male or a female? Well, what do you think, honey? I think you're a trans testicle from where I'm standing, if you want my personal opinion. I might be. Why don't you come uh, find out, baby? Are, are, you, are yeah. you a trans testicle? Admit it. Are you a trans testicle? I might be. You might I be? I know you want to know, don't you? No, I, I, I don't want to know, but let me tell you something. You're sitting here sporting that weird, uh, you know, that, that, that gender ambiguous voice. You got a gender ambiguous voice. I just want to know, I mean, whether or not you uh, actually got a pink taco or you're tucking your sack back. No, you're asking an awful lot about my genitals. You have a fixation here, don't you? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Uh, I, now you know what's a trans testicle, for Christ's sake. Take about ten steps away from my freaking butt crack, for Christ's sake, you fruit bowl. Jesus Christ. Uh, who else do we got going on over here? 612, what do you think about the GOP? Um, I think it's great that other transtypicals are calling in, Ghost. Oh, my God, don't tell me. I mean, is this that uh, one trans testicle that usually calls up now? Yes, I'm Trisha. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, is this your friends? Uh, did you go out to the trans-testicle community and say, Hey, go out and go call ghosts from Jim Capitalist Radio. <laughs> did you do that, Trisha? God damn it. Actually, I go to gay bars and spread, uh, spread news of the broadcast by word. Oh, my God. So you're going out to the damn gay bars, and what do you do? You put it on the shit stall? I mean, what are you doing? No, I spread it by word. You spread it by word? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Get this fruit. Okay, get this off. It's turning into Fruit Bowl Wednesday, for Christ's sake, man. It's turning into Fruit Bowl Wednesday. Good God. Jesus. Oh, my God. Area code 713, what do you think about the GOP? I think that Debbie Daly's a hamburger. 
Why do you think Debbie Daly's a ham bone? And how old are you? Hey, 713, how old are you? You sound like a kid. Hey, 713, say something. I need you on the fuck. Say something. Oh, for Christ's sake. I mean, that sounded like a freaking seven-year-old kid. You know what that sounded like? That sounded like that kid, Isaiah, you know, the supposed little eight-year-old boy gay activist that uh, they're trying to tout on these goddamn news media outlets. Said, did, y- did y'all see that? That, that eight-year-old kid that was forced to confront Michelle Bachman by some bull-nosed bull dyke? Did y'all see that? Jesus Christ. No. I'm not going to call that kid back. Are you kidding me? I'll screw around and catch a case calling that stupid young kid back. What do I look like, Jerry Sandusky, you fruit bowls? Jesus Christ. Anyway, what do you have to say about Occupy Wall Street, Occupy D.C.? What do you got to say about this crap? Six four six six five two four eight six nine. We got area code four four three on the horn. What's up? Well, this is Senator John C. Poop Tickler, and frankly, I think we should kick them the hell out. Well, there's Senator John C. Poop Tickler. Yeah, I agree with you there, Poop Tickler. We need to kick them the hell out. Is right. We need to completely revamp our government. We need to elect just anybody, just average everyday citizens. Just throw them in there. And you see, the difference is, is that when we throw American citizens, average everyday American citizens that are not career politicians, that are not autocrats, us as the people will be able to hold their feet to the fire because they're not going to know the bureaucratic tricks and the bureaucratic, uh, disgusting, despicable lobbying uh, trickery and so on and so forth, all right? I'm not joking, man. If you want to do something, instead of making these goddamn videos about me making me look like a jag off, instead of making these goddamn remixes about me, why don't you make some videos saying, hey, we're voting for anybody else that isn't affiliated with these damn bureaucrats. And it doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, if you're a bureaucrat, if you're somebody who has actually made a career out of public service, you need to get voted the hell out of there, and that's all there is to it. All right? That's all there is to it. Six four six six five two four eight six nine. We got area code, uh, who else we got here? 706, what's up? Uh, you're, you're washing dishes or something, for Christ's sake. Uh, who else we got? 630, what's up? Hey, go put the engineer back on. I want to hear him. Now shut up, you fruit bowl. Shut up. Just sit there and shut your stupid, fruity ass up, you rose-butted asshole-looking fruit. 412, you're on the horn. Ghost is up. Jewish hammer, baggage, brony, fucks his son just like a pony, fapping up the Herman Cain and shading out human remains. Engineer said, run your show, because he has more talent than you. A bone. You stupid jerks for Christ's sake! I mean, this is what I'm talking about! This is what I'm talking about! This is what I'm good! Damn it! Damn it! I mean, good damn it! All the time! All the energy that you idiots put in this crap! God damn it! Why don't you put it into some positivity? Why don't you put it into some videos telling these damn power hungry autocrats that we're not going to take your crap anymore? We're not going to allow you to implement totalitarianism on us. We're not going to let you do it. But instead, you stupid, mindless cyber vermin, waste your time and energy doing this crap. <laughs> Law. Uh. 
every goddamn day I do this goddamn broadcast, and this is the kind of crap that's the kind of crap I get for Christ's sake. I mean, I mean, why don't you idiots utilize this energy, goddammit, the time, the effort that it takes to do these goddamn YouTube videos to do something positive, to do something positive, to do something goddamn positive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit over here and take this from you people. Do you understand that? I'm not gonna sit over here and take this from you freaking people for Christ's sake. Not only am I giving you people insight on how to make some goddamn capital in the markets, I'm giving you some insight on what's going on in the goddamn world around you, and this is the kind of thanks I get from you jerk dicks. And all you idiots that are putting out that goddamn crap on YouTube, you better believe that I'm taking the necessary steps to make sure that I get punitive damages out of your ass. So you idiots that are out there posting these goddamn YouTube videos that think that you're so damn cute, you just wait, son of a bitches. All right, you all just wait. Two words, punitive damages, and that's all I got to say about it. Let me tell you something. I'm this goddamn close. I'm so close to ending this damn broadcast. God damn it, you son of a bitch. We're supposed to be talking about Occupy Wall Street, for Christ's sake, but we're getting goddamn troll terrorists. 240, zero. what do you think about Occupy Wall Street? Actually, here's the thing, goes. You can't necessarily sue the people because there's already... Uh there's already false versions of each one of the videos, and I'm pretty sure I could go ahead and download each one of them. You're a fool. Oh, yeah, yeah? You want to bet on that? Huh? You want to bet on that? You see you're for certain on that, for Christ's sake, boy? You all go out there and keep posting them videos and see what goddamn happens. You go out there and see what goddamn happens, for Christ's sake. I'm going to make sure that I get punitive damages out of all of your asses. And if you think I'm lying, you got another thing coming. Bam, 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 bam. I got another thing coming. Jesus Christ. And man, these people make me sick, you know that? I don't even know why I do this broad. Maybe I should take a long hiatus. How about that? Maybe I should just take the rest of the year off, all right? Take the rest of the year off, you know, have a nice vacation, take a nice trip somewhere, you know? You know, take the, I mean, I don't take go to Vegas or something like that. I said that I was going to go to Vegas on Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, the wife, she's already uh, decorating the whole place to make it look like a damn uh, pottery barn catalog cover. Uh, but seriously, I'm thinking about just taking a goddamn break until the rest, until the end of the year. All right, because you people are ungrateful. All right. 
I mean, I deserve more respect than this kind of crap. I mean, have y'all done a YouTube search lately, for Christ's sake? Huh? Have you searched ghost capitalist or true capitalist radio on YouTube, for Christ's sake? It's disgusting! Hey, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just sit there and take that? I'm supposed to accept that, for Christ's sake? Huh? Being made a mockery of, for Christ's sake? You people making fun of me like it's a big joke, for Christ's sake? And now you people are asking for the engineer to host the show. Now you stupid jerk dicks are asking for the engineer. Well, you know what? The engineer isn't going to host the show, ever, all right? What happened yesterday was a complete anomaly that will never happen again. So stop asking for it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let, let's continue going for Christ's sake. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off at these people. That's what I'm doing. I'm pissed off. I'm going to take a couple of more calls related to Occupy Wall Street, and if we don't get any goddamn serious calls, we're moving on to another freaking subject matter. Area code 559, you're on the damn horn. Well, Occupy Wall Street to fail. Uh, yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. Huh? I mean, Jesus Christ. Hello, uh, I'm Earth. Have we met? Two o three. What's up? What do you think about Occupy Wall Street? Schneider's a ham bone. Stupid idiot with these goddamn ham bone jokes. Six four six six five two four eight six nine is the number to call. I want to hear what you have to say about the man who put Penn State on the map, Jerry Sandusky. What do you have to say about it? Area code nine five two. What do you got to say about it? Uh, hey, Ghost, um, I'm making a fan fiction about you, and I need to know what would the engineer order at... Shut up. I don't give a crap what you're making, all right? Take about ten steps away from my freaking butt crack with that over-feminine voice you've got going on in your vernacular. 240, what do you think about Jerry Sandusky? You're a goddamn performer and fool, you idiot. What? You're a fucking idiot. Well, 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 why don't you explain? Why don't you elaborate why I'm an idiot instead of just saying it out of your suck hole? Because you're troll bait. You keep on falling for these kids. It's so What do you easy. mean I keep on falling for these kids? Let me tell you something. They're making my life a living hell. They're making my life a living hell, for Christ's sake. What I'm trying to do is trying to spark synapses in the brains of capitalists throughout the world. Throughout the world. And unfortunately, I have attracted these goddamn troll terrorists because they are against my capitalist agenda. And I refuse. Let me get this. Yeah, damn it. I refuse to allow these troll terrorists from stopping me from delivering the capitalist ideology that I am delivering on this broadcast. I refuse. So if you're going to sit over here and call me some kind of a troll because I'm kicking ass and taking names as it relates to these troll terrorists calling me up, well, by God, you don't know your ass from your elbow, all right? You don't know your ass from your elbow, all right? I'm a capitalist, and I want each and every one of you that are listening within the sound of my voice to remember that and get it stuck into your thick skulls. I'm a capitalist. And let me tell you something else. I am listened to by tens of thousands of people throughout the world. And many of them are capitalists. I get emails and tweets from every continent in the world. All right? That's how far the True Capitalist Radio Show goes. All right? That's how far we go, for Christ's sake. All right? And that's all there is to it. Jesus Christ. Where the hell am I? 817, you're on the horn. Hey. Engineers are the best person. Bruce Weiss, Victor. You stupid turd. 646 652 Let's take some calls here. 419, what do you think about it? Hey, Ghost, I just want to say happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday? It's not my birthday. Pretty sure it is. No, it's not my birthday. You got the wrong idiot. What? Uh, who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Well, I think you're Ghost. This is this is Ghost's birthday. Yeah, shut up, you stupid moron. All right, it's not my birthday, you idiot. All right. Seven seven zero. What's up? Fuck you, Texas. Fuck you, Lone Star. 
you see, here we go. Yeah, here we go with the damn troll terrorists once again, for Christ's sake. There's a revolution in Russia. I mean, even these cockeyed vodka-drinking Russians have the audacity to realize that they should no longer be led around by the nose like by a bunch of totalitarian bureaucrats. And what are you American people doing? Oh, I have to wait because I have to watch American Idol for the latest fruity ass hopping around the stage like he's got a hamster hanging out his asshole. That's what you people are doing, all right? That's what you people are doing, but you need to realize that totalitarianism is coming, for Christ's sake, and you idiots are just sitting there fanning your ball sack, you stupid, idiot, unappreciative jerks. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we are now in the third and final hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. Before we get into anything else, I'd like for everybody to please retweet the broadcast, all right? Go to the social networks. Go to the forums. Go to the blogs. And spread around like wildfire. And let everybody know that True Capitalist Radio is in effect and in the house, all right? We got all kinds of little buttons underneath the player there. Use and abuse those buttons, baby, all right? It's just a goddamn freaking click, you stupid, dumb, jerk, dick, milky-licking, pieces of nipple clamp, loving, butt plug up the ass looking, wish that you had a clue having pieces of nipple clamp, loving, chicken eating corn bar crap. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, I hate to even ask the engineer, for Christ's sake. I hate to even ask the goddamn engineer, but, engineer, do we have any goddamn Twitter shout-outs to be had out here? All right, well, we do have a couple of shout-outs to be had out here. And for you folks that uh, want a shout-out right here, right now, uh, here's the Twitter account, Ghost Politics, all one word, no underscores, Ghost Politics. Retweet the first tweet on that Twitter account, and I will give you a shout-out right here, right now, on the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. So let's go ahead and see if we got any goddamn Twitter shout-outs to be had out here. Let's see, we got uh, Stairs for Gary, uh, the cans are fake, uh, we got Coochie Liquor, uh, we got Sandusk Hero. Uh, we got Kang for Sandusk. Yeah, shove it up your ass, all right? I've already told you, idiots. Leave Herman Kane alone. Jesus Christ. We got Purple Slime Boy. Jesus Christ. We got Texas and Fuego. Yeah, real fun. <laughs> Texas and Fuego, you sorry sacks of crap. All right, I mean, look, we're actually pretty cold out here in Austin, Texas right now, all right? I mean, it's pretty cold out here, but this past summer, you ungrateful pricks know that we had freaking scorched earth out here, for Christ's sake. We had scorched earth. And you idiots don't even care. You idiots at that time were making goddamn Twitter names like Hot Deals in Texas, Barbecue in Texas, Texas and Fuego. Get the hell out of here, you ungrateful pricks. You come down here to Texas and say that and see if your ass don't get your ass beat down into dog meat, boy. I guarantee goddamn tea it. Anyway, uh, what else do we have? Do we have any more Twitter shout-outs, Engineer? Well, we got a couple more shout-outs, according to the engineer. So let's go ahead and uh, say them, shall we? We got uh, Japanese mutants. There's nothing funny about that jerk-off, all right? Uh, we got Brony Champion, uh, Herman Rage Quit. God damn it, leave Herman Kane alone! Can you leave the man alone? Jesus Christ. We got Vet Forum Wars. Uh, we got Purple Slime Girl. What, what, what is this, the Slime Clan, for Christ's sake? What is this crap? What's up with all the slime names? Can somebody explain that one to me? What the hell's up with that crap? Jesus Christ. Anyway, El Foxo Loco, somebody named Texas Gay Rodeo. Uh, 
a three-hour waste of time. Now shove it up your ass! If you think this is a three-hour waste of time, well, then turn it off! Then turn it off! Then turn it off! Enough with the goddamn Twitter shout outs. Let's see what other people have to say about this. Six four six six five two four eight six nine. Are you having an office party? And if you're not having an office party, do you demand from your employer that they deposit what would have went into the office party into your goddamn paycheck? I want to hear from you. Seven six zero, you're on the horn. Hey go, this is uh Moonbase South from Shiowis dot com. And uh, how are you doing tonight? Just shut up and get to your point, you stupid moron. All right. 832, what's up? Hey, what's up, ghost? What's up? Who the hell is this? That's Ashel. Oh, damn, it's Ashel. What's what's going on, Ashel? Are you going to a Christmas party? No, I'm going to get a, uh ultrasound. You're going to go to get an ultrasound? Why? Because I got punched in the ball by my... uh. Aunt. Right now, no, not right now. Uh, yesterday, you, you got punched in the. Wait, wait, wait a minute. How are they going to give you an ultrasound on the sack? Because, uh, because there's. I think they're. It's bleeding because it, they're like purple, and and they don't know if they need to uh, uh, do surgery. Surgery in it. So they're. Wait a minute. Why, why is your aunt even going for that portion of your body anyway for any type of a disciplinary action? Why is she even touching your private parts, asshole? I got six F's in school. You got six F's in school, so she decided to give you a swift kick to the balls? Yes, I can learn my lesson. So you can learn your lesson, for Christ's sake? Well, at least, you know, hopefully this will prevent you from reproducing. But still, I mean, that's wrong, asshole. I mean, you shouldn't be, you know, kicked in the privates. I mean, if anything, you know, your aunt should have, you know, pulled out the cat of nine tails and gave you a goddamn uh, whooping or something, don't you think? Yeah, but like she, she just went straight in it. I, I don't think I can shoot no more. What? I don't know. I don't think I can like have babies no more. Did you just say you don't think that you can shoot anymore? Is that what you just told me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, my God. Get this six. Uh, get him off, for Christ's sake. I mean, how in the hell does this eight-year-old kid even know this crap? I mean, doesn't, don't you find this disturbing that this eight-year-old kid's knowing about shooting? Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. We're supposed to be talking about Christmas parties out here and how uh, employers are no longer having them. It's not becoming a... a every year festivity any longer, and now the employees want whatever was going into the Christmas party to be put into their paychecks. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Area code 213, what's up? Hello? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that um, you're a faggot. Really? Are you a boy or a girl? Both. You're both? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of sounded, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. I mean, how are you going to say a homosexual derogatory term like that when you sound like you just popped out of the anal passage, or I should say the uterine hole of Rosie O'Donnell, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. 775, what's up? Well, I just had a question. Do you think uh, Herman Cain's favorite Pokemon is Pikachu? Shut up with the Pokemon jokes, all right? 203, what's up? 
Yeah, another deaf mute for Christ's sake. Uh, six two six, what's going on? I joking, I joking, I joking, I joking. Yeah, shut up, all right? Shut your stupid mouth. You know, you idiots are just upset that I'm kicking ass and taking names out here. I mean, I'm making people look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack whenever they call up and try to battle wits with me, for Christ's sake. I'm making people look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack, all right? I mean, I'm straight giving a people a, are you good? Are you good? Anybody who calls up talking crap, are you good? Tiger, tiger, tiger uppercunt. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about Christmas parties out here. Anybody want to talk about a goddamn Christmas party? Let's go to Skype. How about that? Let's, let's get some Skype. How about the, the, that sun is warm? You're on the air. Now you're just playing with your pecker shaft, too, for Christ's sake. We got Note Party. You're on the air. Hello, ghost. Ah, Jesus Christ. Here we go with this trans testicle for... Well, what the hell do you want? I love parties. Especially Note Parties. Note party? What the hell is a note party? It's where you take notes in a party. Are you serious? That's it, that, that's that simple? It's that stupid? It's not stupid. It's fun. Just like watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Oh, man. You know, you're, you're starting to crackle a little bit into that uh, trans-testicle voice. Are you sure that testosterone ain't coming back into your system there? No, I've just been talking all day. That's how... Are you sure? It sounds like that that, that manly testosterone starting to come back in there. Are you sure you're not taking enough? Uh, maybe you need to up the dosage on the feminine pills. Um, did I stutter, Hambone? Now shut up your ass, you trans testicle! Don't dare call me a Hambone! You're a trans testicle, for Christ's sake! You're calling me a freaking Hambone! You're trans testicle! I should just end this show... Right now, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just forget it. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and take any more ridicule from you people. All right. I'm not doing any radio graffiti. I'm not doing any shout outs. I'm not doing any of this crap. I'm getting out of here. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting out of here, and I want to see how you people like that, huh? How are you people going to like that? Hey, give me the mic. Give me the freaking. <laughs> How you like that? I'm going to end the show, and, and, and there's going to be no radio graffiti. There's not going to be no any shout-outs. There's not going to be any Twitter shout-outs, nothing of that nature. And let me tell you something. I may not even come for the rest of the week. I may, I may just not even come for the rest of the year, all right? I might not even do a broadcast for the rest of the goddamn year. How you like that, you pieces of trash? Huh? You need to give me some more respect, and until you idiots give me more respect... I ain't doing another broadcast, all right? So all you people that are out here wanting to hear radio graffiti, all of you people that actually want to hear some true capitalist commentary, all of you people that appreciate the broadcast, you can thank these troll terrorists, you can thank these cyber vermin for ruining the show, all right? They turned today's broadcast into Fruit Bowl Wednesday, and I'm not going to sit here and allow them to continue to do it. Do you understand that? I'm not going to allow them to continue to do it. My show is serious business, all right? And let me tell you something else. We're going to make some changes on this show. That's right. We're going to make some changes on this show. And let me tell you what we're going to change first and foremost, all right? We're going to change the icon. We're changing the avatar of Ghost himself. And the reason is, is because I don't appreciate you idiots making YouTube videos about me, all right? And putting my avatar and making me look stupid. So we're changing the avatar to prevent you people from doing that ever again, all right? We're going to make it very difficult for you people to do this because I don't appreciate being made to look like a jagoff, all right? First and foremost, all right? Secondly... I don't know if I'm going to do this show as frequently as I did it, because you want to know why? You people are ungrateful pricks, all right? You're jerk dicks, all right? And thirdly, if I do do a show, well, then follow me on Twitter, all right? Ghost Politics is the name to follow, all right? 
ghost politics, and maybe, just maybe, you'll be lucky when I'm in a good mood, I'll get up on here and do another broadcast. But until then, I'm not going to let you idiots do this to me, all right? I'm not going to let you idiots besmirch my show. I'm not going to let you idiots besmirch me, for Christ's sake. All right, my show is serious business. I mean, I'm listened to by tens of thousands of people throughout the world. And I don't need this from a rogue group of troll terrorists. I don't need this crap, all right? So screw all you people. I, I'm not going to come by tomorrow. I'm not going to come by for Baller Friday because of you. Because of you ungrateful pricks. You keep agitating my soul, and I hear you all you... I wish this was your face. I wish it was your face, you I wish this was your goddamn face. I wish that was your goddamn troll terrorist cyber vermin face. I'm getting out of here. Get me out of here, engineer. I'm not going to sit here and do a goddamn show for these ungrateful pricks. Get me out of here. You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely his. Catch more live episodes Monday through Friday from 3.30 to 6.30 Central. Or check out archive shows at blogtalkradio.com. True Capitalist Radio. That's it.